everyone, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. And we are the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in the UK searching for Great Britain. We make three new videos every week and we would love it if you subscribe to our channel. In this episode, we're going to react to the now infamous Lawrence Fox appearance on BBC Question Time. So who is Lawrence Fox? I don't know. I think he's um, an actor and a musician, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what movies or even what genre of music he performs in. But um, I guess he's now skyrocketed to infamy uh, through his appearance on BBC Question Time, which is an institution of BBC, I guess. Mm -hmm where there's a panel of people that comment on current affairs. I don't Is think that... we need to educate them on that. Um, I'm educating myself <laughs> on oh. that. Um, so yeah, so Lauren Fox, Lawrence Fox was answering or debating uh, apparently an audience member in, in Question Time, which it turns out to be someone who regularly contributes to BBC all the time. So they're actually a BBC plant. Um, but it's, it's a question. The question is regarding, you know that? the question is regarding, um, the Sussex, Sussexes and, uh, what's been happening with their relationship with the queen and them relinquishing, relinquishing their royal duties. Yeah. So let's have a listen. Let's take our second question now, which is from Robin Ashton. There you are. <coughs> Should the Sussex, Sussexes profit? <laughs> from their royal status. The Sussexes, Harry and Meghan, should they profit from their royal status? Is that what you think they're doing? Or that they may end up doing? I think what they may well end up doing, most likely, let's be honest. Um, we've already seen them trademark the Sussex name. Um, oh mm -hmm. And I think it's highly unlikely that they won't continue to um, carry on this trend. Yeah. Lawrence, what's your view on it all? Sussex Exit. royal. Mm. Um, I feel sorry for them in a way, um, but I because it's difficult when you've got a new baby and all of that, and it and it's and it's hard. But I just have this feeling that shouldn't they? Surely Harry must have had a chat to Meghan at some point and said, "By the way, darling, this is going to be misery, and you don't have to marry me if you don't want to." <laughs> and then well, maybe they did. Yeah, maybe they did. But then you know, and then you want to you want to hop out. It's like, well, you know, can we have the cottage back? and your HRHs. So you think they're doing the wrong thing? Do you think it's disrespectful? I, I don't. I think it's really unfair because, look, we've got the Queen who is an extremely different ball game, isn't she? You know, she's duty ahead of everything else. And I think, you know, when you're younger, you, you do want to make a life for your family. So I do empathise with Can I pause it them, there? But I do. Okay. So he's comparing... He, right, right here he's comparing Meghan to the Queen. And he's saying... The queen clearly puts duty above all else. Mm -hmm. And when she became queen, she was only, what, 23? Mm -hmm. Now, look, how old is Meghan? What, 33? Yeah, something like that. 35. In her 30s. 36. And, and he's basically saying, like, oh, well, you know, the youth, they want to do their thing. She's not youth mm -hmm. when you think about how yeah. old she is compared to the queen when she took on her duties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. find that interesting. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's, there's a little bit of having cake and eating it, which I don't enjoy? Okay. Yes, you the one there. Stuck your hand right up. Uh, the problem we've got with this is that Meghan has Here agreed to be Harry's wife, and then the press have <laughs> torn her to pieces. Oh. Let's, let's be really clear about what this is. Let's call it by its name. It's racism. She's a black woman, <laughs> and she has been it's torn not racism. to pieces. You get a she has been torn to pieces. It's not racism. It absolutely no, it's is. Not. We're the most tolerant, lovely country uh, uh, in Europe. Let's oh. go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to throw the charge of racism at everybody, and it's really starting what to get boring. What worries me about your comment is you are a white, privileged male who has no oh, experience. So. Oh. I, mean, I, I can't I, help what I am. I was born like this. It's an immutable so characteristic. So, so to call me a white, privileged male is to be racist. You're being oh. racist. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so like, so you were saying that this lady is a with plant. the red lips is yeah. a plant. Yeah. Because of the first one who asked the question seemed really nervous. And I was no, like, she she's not a plant. Seasoned or no, anything. No, the one. But with you're the right. Lipstick. Her, her face. She just she rolling knows. her eyes. She knows exactly what she's doing. Wow. So it's crazy that she said 
well, you're a white male. You're exercising white privilege or whatever. Yeah, and that's, is that, how does she know that? Because she looked at his skin color. Yeah. And she's making that assumption. Yeah. It's crazy that, I don't even know how it, it got onto this idea of mm. racism, right? He Is there any more to this about, clip? Yeah, we... yeah. Shall we keep going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, I'll just add in that Priti Patel, the Home Secretary, uh, also took the view that it wasn't racism. I'm not making a, a judgment on that uh, either way. The woman uh, the, in the red it... top there. Not okay, that's okay. It. Yeah, I think that was it. Okay. So, Priti Patel is the Home Secretary who's of Indian background. Okay. So she's a person, a minority person, mm -hmm. who, woman, mm -hmm. who checks all the boxes of um, of claiming of, of cultural mar yeah of cultural Marxism. Okay. And so the point was, look, if someone who checks all the boxes says it isn't racism, yeah. then it surely can't be racism. So that's the kind of argumentation that we've sunken as a society into, where we're not judging the validity of an argument; we're judging it on the source. Yes. of the argument whether it's what the skin color and gender yeah. of the of the source exactly. of the argument it's is. Just, it doesn't matter anymore the ideas on its own it, yeah. it, you have to package it with who's saying it and the more minority the more mm -hmm. what is that word intersectionalist yeah. you go the more power it has yeah. and of course this woman who had to say that it was racism had to be of somewhat looking like not straight she didn't white. look right like she didn't her... look but she's black. come out and apparently she's black see i don't <laughs> see that but to me it just looks like a tan like an italian she kind of she looks italian yeah, to me. like an italian but anyway italian. putting her color aside there was no mention of he, what his comment was had nothing to do mm. with race. He didn't no. say anything about race. No. And he was saying, oh, as a young couple, you know, it must be very hard. You know, she but she was baby. saying, the questioner is saying that the press's coverage of Megan has been racist. Uh -huh. That's what she's saying. And he's saying, come on, no, it isn't. Uh -huh. We're the least racist country. We're a lovely country, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And then she counters, instead of saying... Um, can you give, give evidence exam of how we're not racist? She says, mm -hmm. you have an invalid perspective because you're a white male. So you can't speak on the you topic. You can't speak on the topic. Instead of saying, yeah. actually, look at this article here where they mention blah, and this article here, she yeah. just says, you can't say anything yeah. anyway because yeah. you're not of the right color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. not of the minority. Yeah. Which is insane. Ugh. Yeah. But... And, but I, I don't know what the coverage is really from the tabloids, but I don't have that perception that it has to do anything with race. In fact, a lot of people, I think, who support Meghan Markle say that they like that the, the royal family is being more diverse, like diversified by her. Is that racist to say that, maybe? I don't know. Let's Because that was like a plus. On, on Let's be honest. The, if you looked at the wedding, they really embraced her. They, they, she got to choose a black priest... Um, a black choir, a black cello player was even there. And I, <laughs> I didn't even know black cello players existed. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> and Charles walked her down the aisle because she excommunicated her father from her life. Oh. Um, she sat next to the queen on several occasions. The royal family, the queen in particular, seemed to go out of her way to welcome Meghan Markle into yeah. the fold. And, and so to say that just because the press is critical of you, mm -hmm. to say that that therefore is racism, that's just stupid. I think the things that they were critical about her are her views and her ideas. And yeah. her ideas are very, they're feminist. They're, they're so... They're not associated with the duties related to being a royal member. Mm -hmm. So she's not aligning herself with what the firm, if you will, mm -hmm. upholds. She's and, got her own individualistic views. Yes. And she wants to remake the monarchy. And I mean, her role and, at least. And this is why I think Harry is a beta male. And it's not... <laughs> I know. Some people think that basically... That Meghan has come and basically rescued him from this life of misery in the royal family. Okay. Okay. Maybe so. But... Yeah, he was miserable, not mm. happy. Unhappy. Now, that may be so that he's not happy, but if, he, like he said, he must have had a conversation with her about mm. what it means to enter the royal family. And mm. it, it, if they were planning on leaving, then why take advantage of all of the status and the wedding and um, the house and trademarking the name, the, the being the duchesses of Sussex, duchess yeah. and 
Duke and Duchess of Sussex, mm-hmm. um, if that was always the plan. And I'm sure, I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know if they had that conversation. But the, what it seems like is happening is a woman is coming in and using the platform, the royal status platform, to air out her beliefs and her, what she, you know, whatever climate change or social justice she wants to it. Um, Mm -hmm. impact on society she's using that Mm -hmm. and that's not the purpose that's like you said like that's Mm -hmm. not part of being a royal is i think if you have a cause that you want to you know work for and promote you run it by the queen the queen buys it off and then you can go and like harry did where he created the invictus games that was his thing so if you want to do something for a worthy cause, you just you just make sure the royal family is okay with it. But she just they just seem to go off on their own and mouth spout off their hypocrisy of saving the planet through lowering pollution and then crisscrossing around the world in private jets. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like, how can you take these people seriously? Yeah. Meanwhile, Will and Kate are flying economy or whatever, or just commercial airlines. And they, she just seems to not be able to put a wrong foot down. Mm-hmm. You know, she, although the press was critical of her before she got married to mm-hmm. William, publishing topless pictures of her, saying she was too scandalous, too, maybe too common. I don't know, but she, she's the, really stepped into a role, and I think yeah. that's what really brings the royal family honor and and high respect for her. I think that's what makes Megan's life more difficult if she wants to do what she wants to do mm-hmm. because Kay has come in and just aligned herself perfectly into what's expected of her and she's a living example of it mm-hmm. of the similar age range, mm-hmm. you know, married to the other brother and so Megan is like that's the automatic comparison. Mm-hmm. So it's a high bar. She can't well then I think that that means that she just can't take it. She just hates mm-hmm. being compared to her. I think yeah, she can't live in her shadow is what I think it all boils mm. down to. She's used to being in the center spotlight. But so. she wasn't even like a B actress. She was mm. like, she wasn't even known before she yeah. started dating Harry. <laughs> she was in Suits, okay. Suits Big is pretty deal. good, but no yeah. one knew who she was until she started dating Harry. So. What's yeah. dating mean? Courting. What's courting? Getting ready to get married. Uh. Seeing if one's right for marriage. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. But um, let's just talk a little bit about Lawrence Fox, though. So what do you think, how do you think people have been treating him based on this? On Twitter is my only gauge, but people are loving him. They Mm. think, like, he's saying what everyone's thinking. Mm -hmm. So, and this was in Liverpool, I think, and then it was a Liverpool audience, and people were saying, oh, this is fake news, this is clearly not in Liverpool, etc., etc., and he's just engaging with it all. He's just like, I can tell you, this was in Liverpool. He's just firing away, defending himself. And uh, the poor guy, I think a lot of people are saying he'll never work again, though. So we'll see. We'll see. That would be a horrible mm. uh, a result of speaking what everyone else is thinking. I mean, he's basically mm. saying what a lot of people think, mm. but he's getting mm. a lot of flack for it. So Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think in the comments and other videos that we should react to. If you really like what we do, you can buy some of our merchandise. We are selling albums, music albums, performed by the lovely Lillian. And there are three albums on tap. There's a French impressionistic music album. There's Italian music. And then most importantly, there's British patriotic music. You should check it out. It's wonderful. Buy the album and um, support our mission. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Are you going to say bye? Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.